there was a study, I think it was last year, where they took a whole bunch of people and did brain scans on them while they were fed disgusting imagery. They found with 90-something percent accuracy that the people who were the most disgusted by the imagery were conservatives, and the people who were the least disgusted by the imagery were liberal. I was thinking about this because I was having a lot of discussions I just over the past few days uh, with people regarding the concept of sin and the whole irrational concept that a man over here can be put to death to forgive the wrongdoings of people over here or, you know, the whole world or whatever, right? Like, can you imagine that kind of ruling in a courtroom? What kind of laws would we have? It makes me think about the people who think that people living today should pay for the crimes of their grandparents. There are actually a growing number of people who push for this sort of thing. Anyway, that's not why I made this video. I was thinking about the concept of sin, where even just deeply, deeply thinking about doing something awful is considered a sin. You know, regardless of if you actually do it, you know, but if you deeply think about it, um, that's a sin. Yeah, that is completely incompatible with my mind. So thinking back to that study, you know, I have to be desensitized to a lot of types of things because my mind sometimes thinks things that are worse. I don't really have control of what I'm thinking about. I can guide what I think about. I have control of how I react to what I think about. But my mind constantly thinks about inappropriate things, mean things, violent things, just just messed up things. And I have to use logic and reason and a sense of right and wrong to ensure that I don't actually do those things. Like as an example, you know, someone, someone I've never met, they could come up to me and they could seem like the nicest person ever. And my first thought when I see them and, and their niceness and all that is could, you know, might be, hey, what would this person do if I just punched them? Punch them right, right in the nose, just bam, right, right there. How would they react? And the more I try not to think about it, the more I end up thinking about it, even if I'm traumatized by it. I mean, I suppose there might be times where I might laugh to myself about it. I don't know. But, but either way, I try to distract myself by really, really trying hard to be a part of the conversation. You know, and the thought eventually passes. When I'm alone, sometimes I pace and talk to the scenarios that my mind constantly puts in front of me. I've gotten a lot better about it over the past few years, but it still happens. Sometimes I'll use that kind of energy to write a script for a video. Yes, I, I have mental issues, ones that are completely incompatible with religions that teach the notion that your own thoughts will make you burn in hell for eternity. Ones that are incompatible with a lot of types of conservative thinking. And so it really needs to be understood that some people's minds are just simply built to operate a certain way. And trying to force people to be less disgusted by things is just as futile as trying to demand that everyone be more disgusted by things. You're not a better person for being more disgusted, and they're not a better person for being less disgusted. Things like critical theory can be just as toxic to a conservative mind as religion can be to a more liberal mind. I'd rather stay away from both because I think they're both toxic. But people really do think differently. And when we do think in polar opposite ways, your way isn't going to work for me and my way isn't going to work for you. And that's okay. We merely come from different perspectives. We need to stop judging people for having these differences. Anyway, thanks for watching.